Well, what the crap have I gotten myself into here? This is what happens whenever I see somebody's video thinking to myself, well, why the heck would you use a celery chip Intel processor for Windows 98? Why? I got thinking. You know, I have that slot A. It's about Windows 98 era. I could even run XP. I could go back to the old K62. That was a great, great little setup. I'm thinking, nah, let's one up. Well, I pulled apart one of them, the builds I did. Oh, you remember this one? This was the uh, AMD K7800 MPR 512B. It's Good processor. That's yeah, not the Thunderbird. No, I don't have a Thunderbird yet. The uh, one gigahertz one. But give me time, I'll find one. Well, this one's got the USB or the AGP, the ISA, AMR, stupid little worthless slot, and three sticks for SD RAM. Well, okay. Yeah, I could, I could do that. I have no clue what the cache le legacy is on this RAM, so it is PC-133, it's probably 3. Yeah, a VIA chipset. VT-82C-686A. Okay. Well, I don't have an Iron Gate chip, but oh well. So, stack that one out of the way in the pile for now. Oh well, I do have this one. ASUS K7M. Nice board, losing the ISA slot. Plus side, I don't have the other AMR slot. Don't need it anyway. Not going to network it. If I do, I use a PCI. I don't care. Or dial-up modem. Yeah, I ain't, it, That's gone. So yes, Idaho doesn't have dial-up modem anymore. Well, some parts do. Most part, we all went DSL, cable, or satellite. Yeah, believe it or not, we have satellite over here in Idaho. This one's the uh, AMD K7850. Okay. 512 cache. Okay. Well, what's specs on this versus Celeron? Really, the only difference, big difference, is the uh, Celery chip has a uh, SSE instructions. I don't care. Windows 98, I'm not really going to use the SSE. Good. Use this board. So, pick the board. So, like Uncle Mike did, yeah, I have one too. That's a Vortex 2. AU8830A2. And yes, I know, I mentioned in his comments, I had issues with distorted sound. But, he's also got the uh, wavetable thing on there too. Well, that might help it, I don't know. Well, if you guys paid attention to any of my videos, remember in one of my giant towers, my Micron Tower, I think it was a Micron Monday edition, I don't remember, I bought a little wave table also. Kind of a newer wave table. Cute little guy. An X2E wave table. Uh, I can't remember how many megabytes this thing had on it, but it was impressive. I mean, this thing actually worked very, very, very well. It was like $100 shipped. It was just before COVID, but I got it. And uh, lucky me, it actually showed up. But this one's also got the well, USB, micro USB, whatever you want to call that. Get that in focus there. Focus camera. Thank you. A little micro USB, and then you got your little, well, it's got three ways. You can use it as a mic or, mic or a headphone jack or whatever you want to do, or cross it over, I don't care. 
there's all kinds of options you can do with this little guy. This is impressive. So, yeah, I'm going to use a Vortex 2 just to compete against his little celery chip. And uh, the plus side of my cellar, or my, <laughs> scratch that, the plus side to the uh, AMD board that I'm using is it's already set up for PC-133. I don't have to argue with that. The processor is ready for it, and it's ready to go. So, now we got that out of the way. Then, well, yeah. Don't look at that card. We're gonna go through these other ones first. Oh! Yeah, I gotta toss that one in there too. Why not? No, not that one. We'll get this other one over here. Get this stuff out of the way here. So, video cards. I could go with this uh, NVIDIA FX570 LE. 128 megabytes of RAM. Yeah, be a little overkill. It'd do the job. Pretty card. I wonder how that would react under ultraviolet. It's got a nice little bright shine to it just underneath my LED lights. That might be a good one for something else. Then we got this NVIDIA FX6200A. Yeah, that would work, but yeah. Yeah, I kind of want it to be a little bit more fair in the benchmarking. So, look at this thing, BFG. Yeah, back when they had some goofy looking dude there with a hat or I think. It almost looks like the Michelin Man all wrapped up in a mummy wrap with a fireman's hat on it. And eyeballs coming out the hat. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's an FX 5200, 128 megabytes. Another one that would probably be pretty cool under ultraviolet, because I don't know, that one doesn't really have the pop in the color. I could go with some bling. A little gold. It's a GeForce 4 MX440. It's a nice card. What was the megabytes on that one? Uh, 64 megabytes. That would work. Not a bad card. Sure runs cooler than the one I'm going to use here, which is, yes, my GeForce 4. 4400, I believe. 44 or 48. I will uh, have to get back to you on that one. My bad. I shot myself in the foot there. It's a 4600 Ti. I had to backtrack through some of my videos to remember what the heck I had here. Uh, that seems like a little oven inside. The uh, GeForce 4 Ti's in general ran hot. And they basically cooked themselves to death. So, luckily this is a survivor. Great little card. Remember right, it played Unreal perfectly. Not a hiccup. And this is one of those cards I would have died to have back in the day. Granted, it would have killed itself anyway, but <laughs> you never know. So, we got this monster here. Antec, 430 watt power supply. Good little case. And, uh, I think they're two 40 gig hard drives. Perfect. Right down there, and we got the case fan hiding back in here, down there where you can't really see, but you can see my finger wobbling around and doing that number. I'm pretending there's airflow there and it's really, really blowing hard. It's going to whip that little celery chip to the rear end. Especially since I was not going to use this memory stick, I was going to use 
thought about using the value RAM, the KVR133 cache AC of 3, 512 megs. Windows 98, and yeah, probably be okay with it. So, I decided to use, we got two different chips here, or sticks here, but Micron. Yeah, one's just a little taller than the other. Just depends on who was working and what we, yeah, what month they were doing it. Both identical chips, other than the height. They cut it down finally because they decided they needed shorter memory chips. Who knew? Probably because it got in the way of the heat sinks. Yeah. Anyway, this is CL2. There are two two fifty six megabyte sticks. Sync. 133. So these should give me a little bit more of an advantage here against his uh, celery chip. So, especially since that board only has two memory slots in it. Now, on top of me choosing some of these components because of this case color, well, it's a recycled case. Eventually, I will do a uh, proper video on properly repainting a case. I feel there's a step that everybody doesn't know about, and you should probably use it, because it really helps the paint stick quite well. And vinegar is not one of them, although it does work, especially if you're getting fish eyes. So, inside here, we got our matching 3.5 inch floppy just kind of blends in. Then we got our Yamaha 24x10x40. That's the breakdown of the uh, Windows 98 SE build. Uh, Mike should have his up by now, so that way I can uh, do some more trash talking against his well, celery chip here. Yeah, you Wisconsin cheese heads against us Idaho spuds. Bring it, Mike. Bring it. Yeah, I know I already talked trash about your sound card, so <laughs> guess what I'm using. <laughs> Take that. And if I don't like it, I'll go to the ZS sound card. But your case does look better than mine. I'll give you that. But I got a door that doesn't want to close right half the time. This one doesn't even have the hidden USB port down here on the bottom like some of them did. Finally got up and going. I was going to do this in a two-part type series, but uh, this part's not going to take very long anyway. So, I'll just sit back and relax. Enjoy the rest of this while we uh, make Uncle Mikey his words. Him and his little celery chip cellar on talking smack. Uh, let's see how this works. Got an AMD Athlon K7. Stock CPU speed of 850 megahertz. It is not the Thunderbird. I went, I downsized it for him to give him a little bit better chance. I was nicer. I didn't go with the 1 gigahertz and overclocked at 1200 megahertz. Kept it reasonable. However, I did overclock this one to 935 or 932, something like that. I also had to increase the voltage to 1.75 from 1.7. Now, if I had the uh, Goldfinger device, the GFD, I could bring that one up to an EC1 gigahertz, no problem. I could walk all over that little celery. So, I did not have a 4400, but I do have a 4600 Ti video card. Well, it's still within reason. It's a 1999 era build. Minus the sound card, obviously. And, yeah, it's starting to get warm out here. AC's kicking on. So, on to the benchmarks. 
So what I'm going to do on this benchmark style is I'm going to obviously run a new benchmark. I am going to go ahead and just run it as is, just factory setup on it. I'll show you the system info. The processor. Uh, I guess it's shown on 950. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, the Thunderbird processor actually had 256, but it was full speed cache, whereas this one's, uh, I think, limited to 300 megahertz cache speed. So that's kind of a downside. But, graphics card, GeForce, TI 4600. Uh, yeah, I got the desktop set of 16 bit, but that, it runs a 32 bit, no problem, as you can see here. So, then we do have, should show DirectX 9, yeah, I got DirectX 9 working, believe it or not, on 98. Actually, it didn't take too much work on it, you know, it's just the way, the order that you install everything that really worked out easy. So, I'm going to run the benchmark. And I will come back once the results are done. Okay, so I'm doing pretty good right there. So let's see what the rest of it bring. Well, the results are in. 5,024 3D marks, 13,671 CPU 3D marks. Pretty respectful there. All right, Mike. See how well your little celery does here. So, on that note, I am going. I don't even know if that's going to work. Nope. So, I'm going to go ahead and run 3D Mark 2001 SE. Really stress this system out. So once again, I'm just doing it as it first comes up. I'm going to bench it, see what happens, come back to you with results.